Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll be covering how to create, how to integrate Cleric with your custom login. In the previous tutorial, we worked on the sign up. So we can now sign up our user using the custom sign up logic for Cleric. And right now, we're going to work on the login one because this is a custom form and we're going to integrate the form with the cleric use sign in hook okay so i'm just actually gonna close this okay so i'm quickly just gonna go over some of the things we have for our login form okay so here we ended up using you sign up right so now since both of them are in one place right the login and sign up form are in one place i'm just going to Im import the you sign in hook right here but if you have a separate page for that you need to do the exact same things that i'm gonna do but before actually we do this let me just quickly go over the code for this so we have the login fields okay it's a use state and we only need these two and these two need to be name identifier and password okay after these fields change using this handle login field change function that we have we're gonna get the name value and we're gonna set these fields using this and if i go here you can see that on change that function will trigger and using the name it will put the name here and the value of that field into this okay and this is to get the previous fields okay so you should know how this is working so you need this to trigger every time we end up inputting something into our input field okay so after this what we're going to do is handle the login submit okay so this is what we're going to work on so let's start working on this Okay, so this is uh, the logic for the sign up. Okay, so it's going to be similar to this and it's going to be really quick. Okay, but first we need to import a few things. Okay, so we ended up doing this, right? So I'm just going to copy this actually and just going to paste this in just to keep things simple. But here, what I'm going to do is import the use sign in hook that is a part of cleric okay cleric next.js and i've already shown you how to install this so we get the same things that we get here but this needs to be sign in okay and these are the same so since these are the same right so i'm actually just gonna get this and i'm gonna remove these two because i don't really need them anymore here okay so i have these and what these three do is this one checks whether the cleric library has ended up loading or not okay so when cleric has done loading then this will if I show you down here if cleric has done loading then it will return this my form but if it has not loaded yet it will just load nothing so this is to check whether cleric has loaded or not so this one is used to log in our user and this one is to send the values to cleric so that it can confirm okay the password and the email match 
and now I can send a response back according to whether this ended up matching or not okay so I'm just gonna take this okay and we're gonna start working on our login functionality to log someone in okay but first we need to verify if they ended up succeeding or not so constant is I think we should name this sign in attempt and because we're trying to attempt a login we're trying to uh, attempt to sign in and here sign in okay and dot create you also need to make sure this is a asynchronous function okay so make sure this is an asynchronous function okay here you just need to put in the login fields okay and this is this okay which is connected to our input fields okay as you can see so here we're just gonna pass this in okay and this will put in this will pass in these two and then we'll be able to log in our user after it confirms the email and password okay so after we're done with confirming our email and password what we need to do actually let me just add a try catch block first okay because we want to catch the errors that we get and I'm just gonna console dot actually I've already done this here so I'm just gonna copy this okay I'm gonna paste this in okay so after we've passed in our email and password what we're gonna do is then check using an if else statement if and else and the else is just going to have our error okay if this did not succeed okay and I'm gonna say error okay I'm just gonna leave it like this so if the sign in attempt is equal equal, equal to complete dot stat status okay so the sign in attempt status is equal to complete and you will have you will have these first okay you will have needs first factor needs identifier needs new password needs second factor okay these are the things you will get but we want complete complete will basically mean that it passed and we now need to just set a active state so that we can log in our user so await okay set active which is this is used to log in our user which is this one so we're going to use this to log in our user so we need to pass in the sign in attempt into the session okay and this dot okay and you can see all of these are the things we have so we need create session id 
Okay, so what this is going to do, it's going to create a session ID for us that will log in our user. After our user has been logged in, what we're going to do here is just send our user to our dashboard page. So router dot push. Okay, then we're going to do slash dashboard. Okay, so if you're wondering where this came from, this is this the use router hook in Next.js navigation. Okay, and this is something that comes with Next.js. Okay, so using this, okay, I am just redirecting the user to the dashboard page. So I'm just going to save this and I already have a user that I made in the previous tutorial in the sign up one and I'm just gonna log that user in okay so if I'm going to log in I'm gonna pass in this I'm gonna add the password and I'm just gonna press the login button as you can see I am redirected to the dashboard page and this is showing that I'm logged in as this user and I can sign out okay so I hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe for more tutorials like this so I hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe to stay updated about the latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one bye